Fixing and flipping houses can be extremely lucrative if you do it right, but you cannot be successful without raising capital to fund deals. You need funds to buy the house and pay for the repairs. When it comes to fix and flip, the most important rule to remember is no money equals no deal. The good news is there are several different options to fund fix and flip deals, and some of them don't require you to put any of your own money into the deal or have good credit either. So in today's video, I wanna share with you the five different ways to fund a fix and flip coming up. Hey, it's Jerry Norton, the nation's leading expert on flipping houses and to make more money and less time flipping houses so that you can live your dream life, subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to get notified when new videos are released. The number one thing I do to help my elite mentoring clients take their real estate flipping business to the next level is raise more capital for deals. It's the biggest obstacle preventing mid-level fix and flippers from progressing and it's often the biggest obstacle preventing new investors from breaking into the business. Listen, you cannot build a fix and flip business unless you get good at raising money for deals. If you're experienced, more and better capital will allow you to do more deals or higher margin deals. If you're brand new, the quicker you learn money raising skills and the more attention you give it early on, the faster you'll get funding for your deals. If you're serious about breaking into the world of fix and flip or taking your existing fix and flip business to the next level, understand that you will never stop raising capital for deals. It is something you will always do because you will always need either more capital or cheaper capital. Make raising money a regular weekly activity that you do from now on. Now let me share with you five different options for funding fix and flip deals and the pros and cons of each. And be sure to stay to the end of this video because I'm gonna share with you a hack strategy to get 100% funding for deals. So you don't wanna miss that. Now, despite its name, let's start with the easiest type of funding for fix and flips and that's called hard money. Now, hard money is specialized short-term funding specifically for fix and flips. What's great about hard money is it's an asset based loan. So in other words, unlike conventional lending, the lender is primarily concerned about the property and not you personally. For that reason, hard money lenders focus on the merits of the deal and not your credit score, job history, or even your income. Basically, if it's a good deal, they'll lend you the money. The downside to hard money is since it's a fix and flip investment loan, the risk is higher and therefore it's more expensive than conventional lending. It's common to pay 10, 12% interest or higher plus points and other fees. Now the other downside to hard money is typically hard money lenders will only lend 80% of the total capital for the deal. Now if you're experienced, you may qualify for 90%. So for example, if you're gonna do a fix and flip deal that costs 75,000 for the purchase and 25,000 is needed for repairs, so 100,000 total in capital needed for the deal, if you qualify for 80% loan to capital, hard money will only give you $80,000. Now the lender requires you bring to the table the other 20%, or in this case, 20,000 as your skin in the game, to lower the risk to the lender. The basic concept with skin in the game is the more money a flipper has in the deal, the less likely they are to walk from the deal if things don't work out. Now for many flippers, putting 20% down, or in this example, 20,000 of personal funds into the deal is not an option, and even if you could, it's not a good idea in my opinion. Now we're gonna come back to that in a minute. Funding option number two is private money. Now private money differs from hard money in that rather than being an institutional lender, private money is an individual with investment capital in the form of personal savings or a retirement account. It's an individual willing to lend their capital to you for a fix and flip deal. Now the pros to private money are it's readily available. It's all around you. Did you know someone with an IRA can self-direct it and lend it to you for a fix and flip deal? The downside is private money lenders will only lend their money to people who they like and trust and only if they understand how the investment works. People will not lend money money in something they don't understand. All that means is it's absolutely critical that you help a private lender understand exactly how it works and that you come across as professional. Now that brings us to funding option number three, which is an equity partner. Unlike hard money and private money, which are forms of debt lending, where you pay the money lender a specific interest rate and amount for borrowing the money, an equity partner does not earn interest on the loan, but rather shares in the net profit of the deal, which is typically 50%. Now the pros are that you don't have to have any skin in the game. The equity partner provides 100% of the capital for the deal. You also don't have to make monthly interest payments, which is a huge benefit if you don't have the cash flow to service a fix and flip loan. The downside is you're giving up 50% of the profit, which could be much more than a private or hard money loan. Ideally, the 
equity partner is a silent partner just providing funding, but since the equity partner is technically a partner, he or she may decide to get involved in the project and have a say in the decisions about how to manage the fix and flip deal. Now these are things that need to be clearly spelled out in your partnership agreement up front. Using equity partners is how I started with fix and flip. In the beginning, I didn't have much experience and hard money wasn't readily available like it is today. So I found a handful of wealthy individuals and offered them half of the profit if they'd give me 100% of the capital. As soon as I gained enough experience, I switched to using hard money and private money, but to this day, I still use equity partners, especially on my multi-million dollar projects. Now the fourth funding option for fix and flip deals is often overlooked and not considered, and that's a home equity loan and lines of credit. Did you know that you can leverage the equity in your primary home to purchase a new property? A popular bank loan program is the home equity line of credit or HELOC. Since it's a line of credit, once approved, you can use it, fund a deal, pay the line down to zero when you sell the deal, and then keep reusing it. Some banks will lend up to 90% of the home's value. So for simple math, if your home was worth 100,000, you could get a HELOC for 90,000. Of course, they would deduct that from any existing loan on the home. So for example, if you qualified for 90,000, but you had an existing loan for 40,000, you would only get a $50,000 line of credit. Now, since these HELOC loans are very inexpensive, this can be a great source of capital. The fifth option is the least popular and the most difficult, but also the most inexpensive if you qualify. And that is with a conventional loan with a bank. Now, some banks will do fix and flip loans for investors, but they typically require 20% down, a credit score above 700, and at least a two-year profitable track record doing fix and flips, and no recent bankruptcies or foreclosures. But if you qualify, these types of loans can get you four to 5% interest compared to 10 to 12% with hard money. So if you qualify, it may be worth it. Now, I'm glad you stayed this far in the video because let me share with you my hack strategy for getting 100% funding on deals. The best way to do that is by using a combination of hard money and private money. Now remember how I said hard money will typically lend 80% of total capital. Well, what I do to supplement the remaining 20% is use private money. So for example, if I'm doing a deal that requires 100,000 to buy it and fix it, I would borrow 80% from hard money and 20% from private money, allowing me to do the deal with 100% funding and none of my own money in the deal. Now, since hard money is readily available in every market, the key is being able to raise private money. So to help you do that, I put together a really cool resource guide. Now this credibility packet explains the six steps to borrowing private money that you can explain to a private money investor, as well as 25 questions to ask every lender when borrowing money. Now I'll give this to you along with eight other really powerful resources for free. Just click the link in the description to claim your free download. And I've got an entire playlist of videos all focused on tips and strategies for raising capital for deals. I'll put the link to that playlist in the description box below. And hey, if you learned something on today's video, show some love, hit that like button right now and leave a comment. Let me know your biggest takeaway from this video and your favorite source of funding. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm dedicated to helping you make more money and less time flipping houses so you can live your dream life. And while we're on the topic of funding, I put together an entire video going into more detail about how to fund deals with 100% funding. Now this video will help you do five times as many deals. So watch this video now. And remember, it's not about the money. It's about having the time and freedom to have, be, do, and give everything you want in life. That's what it's all about. And I'll see you on the next video.